Hey there and welcome back. Um, in this video I'm going to talk about starters. Things you use to start your engine. Your nitro engine. Uh, actually but before I do that two things I left off that are in my bag is a good pair of sunglasses in the previous video I meant to mention that there's you always carry a good pair of sunglasses you always carry a good hat. Um, at least where I live it's sunny most of the time and a good hat and a good pair of sunglasses is essential when you're flying an airplane. Okay, so uh, about the starters. Uh, this starter I've had since I first started flying globe powered airplanes 10 years or more. And um, uh, it's a Hangar 9. They still sell them. Um, it's the 12 volt Power Pro starter. HAN161. I think it's still got the same number. And obviously I made the box and uh, the box holds, um, I used, um, there's a type of, of uh, banana plug here that uh, uh, you don't have to solder and it has a screw in there. Uh, there are also banana plugs that you can solder, uh, but these are the ones you don't have to solder. Uh, but you do have to solder a few things because the receptacle does need soldering and then you add whatever connector uh, inside here this happens to be a Dean's plug because the batteries I use for this are uh, have a that's a Dean's plug on the end and uh, uh, it doesn't matter whether you use Dean's or the other type uh, EC3 type uh, plug they all work well and then obviously I made a box that held my two uh, glow drivers and um, box is easy enough to make. It's made out of aircraft uh, type um, uh, plywood. Um, you start with the top, screw this in, and then uh, use um, CA glue, super glue, to um, glue all the rest of it together. And um, the top is screwed onto the bottom, so if I ever have to take this off, I can get to um, anything in there. <clears throat> but it's uh, it works quite well. Um, but if you're not handy enough to make one of those and you don't know how to solder, I have a different solution for you. Okay, I've uh, been using this for years. Has uh, always worked extremely well. I bought a spare uh, for two reasons. Um, I carry lots of spares because um, a lot of times my students uh, don't have um, anything, I let them borrow my spares for a little while until they can uh, uh, decide what they want to buy. And so this is the Hobbyco Torque Master 180. Uh, uh, it works extremely well as well as this one. Um, the stoppers on them are slightly different. This red stopper works well. The um, default stopper that comes with this also works well. Um, um, uh, there are some yellow uh, stoppers here that don't work very well. They shred. Uh, so if you see a yellow one, don't use it. Use a red one or a white one. But the nice thing about this is um, you can buy this with the uh, banana plugs already on the end. So there's two banana plugs. They're wrapped in, in um, um, electrician's tape. So I'll show you what's uh, underneath there in a, in a minute. I'm not going to pull the electrician's tape off. But, and then the, um, this is the EC3 connector. Okay, so that's the EC3 connector. It's blue, and um, this is the male, um, and the battery has the female uh, matching connector EC3. Um, by the way, female connectors are always on batteries. That way they won't shock you. Okay. And so what this is, is this, uh, you get from Horizon Hobby. It's a uh, uh, nice long um, banana plug to EC3, already made for you, don't have to solder or anything. And how you have a um, banana plug on this side and banana plug on this side is to buy um, an adapter, which is the female banana plug on both sides. So this is a power probe. Uh, I got this, uh, you, you'll need two of them by the way. Uh, so I got these um, 
from uh, Amazon and basically it's a standard banana plug uh, female on both ends and uh, so you put your banana plugs in I wrap them with electrician's tape and they're gonna hold quite nicely and uh, <clears throat> um, so the torque master and the banana plugs and this um, or the banana plug adapters and this isn't that expensive and it, and um, um, your lipo battery can be attached inside your um, um, field bag or um, uh, or in your power box the the other type of if you use the wooden box um, or you don't have to make a uh, such an elaborate box as this you can make a, a good large square box here attach it and have all the wiring and the lipo all inside it's quite simple um, so be creative and uh, uh, whether you want to solder it or just uh, assemble it I got two solutions for you both of them work quite well uh, okay, thank you very much, and uh, hope you enjoy this video, and stay tuned for the next one.